The very first thing that you want to do is to select your data. I've got my data here in a column, so I'm just going to click, hold, and drag through that data. And then I'm going to click on my insert menu and go over here to the middle and I'll see this histogram. If you click on the down arrow, you'll get those stat plot options, including that box and whisker plot. It's looking great, but I want to go ahead and add things like a title and some labels. So I'm going to double click on this title, highlight it and change this into box plot of heights. I also want to add some data labels. In order to do that, you want to make sure that you've got the chart selected. If you don't, go ahead and click on the chart so that you see this plus sign in the upper right corner. I'm going to click on that plus sign and it gives me several different options, including adding data labels. Now it's given me all the labels that I was expecting from my five number summary. That would be the min quartile one, the median quartile three, and the maximum. But you'll notice there in the middle, I'm also looking at the mean and I don't want the mean there. I'm going to double click on it once, which selects all of the data. If you double click on that mean value a second time, just the mean is selected. Now I can go ahead and delete or backspace and it's gone. You can also change the color and look of your box plot by going to the format menu. I'm going to click on format and I want to change the color of my box plot. So I'm going to click once on the box plot. Then I can go up here to shape fill and change it to a different color. I can also change that outline. So again, I'm going to make sure I've clicked on that and then I'm going to change that outline to be a black color. In addition to the box plot, we can also do a histogram, frequency polygon, and ogive with Excel. Take a look at the video that I've got here. Thanks so much for watching.